Hey Gaiaverse, it's Gaia, also known as Cyber Mother Nature, and I am back with another video. Okay, period. So today we are going full on vampire, smoky eye, sexy, just sultry vibes. Okay, honey? So, I'm going somewhere a little bit important. I'll tell you guys, you know, when it's a little bit closer and you know it feels more real. But, besides the point, I have to do some really dark kind of, you know, crazy eyes kind of. Do y'all see this? <laughs> I do a makeup look last night and I washed my face but obviously I didn't do that well comment in the comment section if y'all have problems taking off y'all makeup okay cuz that's like a big problem for me like I'll do my best but it's never enough so sips tea. so are you gonna subscribe to my channel like, are you going to keep watching my videos and not subscribe? I think you should subscribe to my channel right now. Turn on your post notifications. Give this video a like because I think you're already going to like the sleigh. Okay. <laughs> you're already going to like it. Why do you have to wait? You're already here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to my videos. Thank you so much for showing me all the love. Cause I got all the content for you and that's just that on that so let's get into this look um I'm gonna go ahead and knock out my brows off camera and I'm gonna come right back okay all right guys so I did one eye and this is how it looks it's like a very dramatic um smoky eye um, I also do my eyebrows. If you guys want to know how I do my eyebrows, I actually have a video. I'm actually going to film an updated video because I started using um, a different brow pencil. But yeah, this is how it looks. I didn't put any eyeliner on. Um, but yeah, it's super vampy and I'm, gonna sh I'm about to show y'all what I did. So first I took my um, P. Louise base. Um, this stuff is really awesome and what I did was I took like a little brush and I'm gonna put it on my lid like all over my lid because I really want this red to kind of show face underneath the black like today we're going for like drama we're going for like real kind of like I know it's not Halloween yet but I'm definitely trying to give a Halloween vibe like Definitely. This is honestly one of my favorite um, bases right now. Like, P. Louise went off. And honestly, the reason why I get white is because since my skin is a little bit darker, um, I just feel like it's a lot, um, the colors show up a lot better whenever I put the white base. So now I'm going to take like a little fluffy brush and kind of blend it out. And I'm making a little bit of like a like a V shape with the base. Now that that is blended out really well, I'm gonna go in with my um, Juvia's Place, the Festival palette, and I'm gonna take Izafa. And Izafa is a really pretty red color. There's also uh, Ofala, which is like a reddish orange. I'm gonna actually mix those two, but I'm gonna focus on using Azafa the most, if that makes any sense. And I'm gonna create like a little V, like this, and I'm gonna put it up a little bit. And I like to move in really small movements, really small circular movements like this and just kind of drag it in a little bit make sure you're putting it closer on the inside as well so that red can show 
because even though the black is the most important part about this look, you really want that red to kind of pop out. Have you guys ever seen Black Swan? I feel like I'm really giving Black Swan vibes with this eye look. So the closer I get further up, I like to blend a lot lighter. So like when I'm in the, like let's say I pick up some eyeshadow, right? And I start just kind of placing it. In the inside, I'm gonna make really small circular movements. But the closer I move outwards and upward towards my brow, I'm gonna be a lot lighter, you know? And that's how you get that better effect is you want to kind of just blend really lightly on the edges not too much and that's how you see it it's really cool that's kind of blended but i want it to be blended a little bit more so i have this little another blending brush and i'm gonna like blend a little bit blend it very lightly try not to put too much pressure because you know, people always ask me, how do you get it to, like, blend out very, like, you know, how do you get your eyeshadow to kind of look really blended? And that's the key. Don't apply pressure on the edges. Kind of just, like, feather it out. But I think this is pretty blended. I just feel like it needs a little bit more red because I feel like as soon as I put the black on top, you're going to lose a lot of the red. My eyes have been watering a lot lately. And I don't know if it's because I'm wearing uh, a lot more makeup than I have been wearing for a while. Like, I honestly went through, like, this phase where I wasn't really wearing makeup a lot. Um, and I don't know if that's why, but it's kind of pissing me off. Like, if, you know, it's not fun when your eye just wants to, like, water and mess up your makeup. Alright, so now, this is what your face should look like. Now I'm gonna take my box of crayons palette. I'm taking a kind of like flat but fluffy brush and I'm taking uh, the shade black and I'm basically gonna create like a little wing but like a really fat wing. Like this wing is going to kind of have personality. And I like to start with the front first and then kind of build on top of the wing like this and kind of really wing it out y'all see that so you see how it's like kind of like a little wing that's exactly what you need in your life okay that's exactly what you need and if it doesn't look like this honey take it off and try again now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice little fluffy brush it's, it's not too fluffy. Like, you don't want something that's super fluffy. You want something that has, like, a point, but it's fluffy to where it moves. But it has to have a little bit of, like, a sturdiness, right? And we're just going to blend. And with this, you want to still do the circular motions, but I do a little bit of swiping as well. But keep, keep in mind that it, you don't want to over-blend this because it can easily um, it can easily become muddy and you really want the red and the black to show face and we're not using anything like any type of transition shade so you really have to be really really careful when blending this out alright just like so then you're going to take that red brush and you're going to go in and kind of keep feathering it out and making sure that they're blended perfectly within each other. I'm gonna take a little bit more black because I feel like I need a little bit more. And I'm gonna put it right here. Mm-hmm, okay, honey. Mm-hmm, honey. Y'all, I'm looking scarier and scarier by the moment. I cannot wait for Halloween to come, y'all. This year for Guy and Ween, I'm gonna be pulling looks, honey. Like, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna just let y'all know. Subscribe to my channel right now, okay? Because Guy and Ween is gonna be lit, y'all. And this is just, you know, this is a precursor so y'all know 
I got, I got smoke coming. I feel like this the type of look you only wear around Halloween time or unless you're just like a really dramatic person, which is totally fine. Like you can be a dramatic person. Like don't let anyone ever tell you that you're too dramatic, baby. Be dramatic, okay? And that's just on period. Okay? And that's on period. Yeah, I'm super excited. Halloween is gonna be, wait, not Halloween, gaia -ween is gonna be so lit. Now that I have this, I'm gonna actually take a wipe, like a little makeup wipe, and I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this so it's like really defined. And now I'm gonna put on my lashes. Today I'm using high maintenance lashes. I always use high maintenance lashes. Um, these are my sister's lashes. She's still working on her website, but as soon as she gets her website up, I'm definitely gonna be leaving her link in the bio. However, um, if you do live in New Orleans, um, you can get them for delivery. Like, she'll deliver them to you, um, and I'll give you her Instagram. I'm actually going to put my lashes on off camera. I'm also going to do my foundation off camera and then I'm going to come back for finishing touches. So this is my foundation. I'm also probably going to do a little bit of a blush. I'm not 100% sure, but as you can see, it's very sultry. Like there's something very black swan about this look. If you guys want to know how I do my foundation, um, I do have a little bit of a video. Well. I do have a video on it, okay? So make sure you guys go check that out. I'll leave the link in the description box. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a random eyeliner. Um, I, I may not put this in the description box because I probably don't know where I got it from. It says NK, so I'm probably just gonna find like a, a good pencil that you guys can use. I like to use Beauty Store eyeliner pencils um, because it's just eyeliner, but that's just me but I'm gonna take an eyeliner and I'm gonna put it in my waterline hopefully my eyes don't start watering so now I'm gonna take this like really pointy brush and I'm gonna take that red shade um, from the festival by Juvia's now there is a red shade in my crayon case palette however I really like this red I don't know why it just calls my name you know and I'm gonna take that red and I'm gonna put it right underneath my waterline and kind of like smoke my waterline out just like that I feel like I'm gonna be snatching some necks I'm gonna be snatching and then oh y'all and my eyebrows look super natural right now I should have did them a little darker but you know I had to do natural brows for y'all um, I'm gonna take my um, the festival palette by Julia's Place, and it's a shade called Mamanwu. Yeah, I'm gonna put blush on. Whoa, I'm scared. All right. Yeah, I feel like you really can't even see this one that much, which is good because it's like not pushing it. But I feel like a little bit of blush ain't gonna hurt nobody. All right. Okay, all right. Y'all, my eyeshadow hates me today. Like, it really does. Okay, so now we're gonna do lips. I'm gonna fix my eyeshadow because it's tripping, but I'm gonna fix it later because I ain't got the time. So we are moving on to lips. I actually have this dark brown shade by Morphe and it's called Richie and I'm gonna take Richie and I'm gonna line my lips and it's this really dark brown and it's very vampy it's very like it's very there you know like I feel like I have to line my lips with every every lipstick I wear unless it's like brown even then I would probably still line my lips but um, today we're gonna do a red lip like I told you we going full on just sexy vampy vibes you know 
Alright, so on my lips, I'm going to be using the shade Seduce by Morphe. And it is a kind of bluish red. And I'm just going to put that in the middle. Yes, I feel like today I'm not really feeling the shininess. So I'm going to take um, my setting powder. And I'm going to actually... Put some setting powder on top so it's more dry and more matte so that really muted the look oh this is really really hot y'all let me take my hair now as you can see I look gorgeous um <laughs> so this is basically the finished look the last thing I'm gonna do is use some setting spray I'm using uh, Milani make it last and I'm going to just give her a little spray okay and make sure you cover your eyes once you put on setting spray it just everything just comes together and you just look flawless y'all I'll be right back I'm about to go put on my outfit and I'm about to slay for y'all okay This is a finished look. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I look really, really, really hot. Like, it's a lot. And I obviously, this isn't an everyday look. Obviously. Obviously. However, I feel like I killed it. It's definitely giving me very vampy, sultry vibes. Um, and I'm digging it. Um, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think of this look, what other looks you guys want to see. I know after this I have a few ideas, but today I had to do this look, so I definitely wanted to show you guys, you know, a little behind the scenes, a little, you know, some summer has to put it together. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel right now because I'm coming with the content, okay? I'm posting two videos. Yes, I said it. Two videos a week. So, turn on your post notifications so you make sure that you're getting to see those videos, okay? Because if you don't have all your post notifications, how are you going to know? How are you going to know when I post, okay? You're going to be out of the loop. And I want to put you in the loop. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Super excited. And I'll see you guys in the next one.